Hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> hello, everyone. How's it going? Hi, Mads and Monty and G. Wife boat. Lovely to see you. How are you guys doing today? Hi, Bristol. Subnautica? More like Sub Yesica. <laughs> Come back! Come back, Bristol! Hi, Ezel. Hi, I, I. SJS. Hello. Hi, Dave. For Carl. Wife boat. I'm so happy that you got your avocado. I hope you like it. <laughs> Hi, Grunt. Hello. Saving some nautical for when I get my PC. It looks like such a blast. Oh, it is a it is a gem, Mads. It's a scary blast. Yes, exactly. You're well prepared. It's a uh, it's the perfect stream game. <laughs> I have no idea if you stream, but it's a very good stream game. Cause it's like, it's super fun, it's super long, and a lot of people like watching it. <laughs> the avocado is everything. I'm so glad. <laughs> Tired, but all good. Gonna be big chilling this evening. Lovely. I hope you had a good birthday. I'm doing really well, thank you. Oh, that was Monty who said that. Okay, no, 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 but that's it still goes. It still goes. I hope wife boat had a good birthday is what I was trying to say. Monty, if you had a birthday uh, at any point in your life, I hope yours was good too, though. Just a baby streamer, but just on console, we'll definitely stream this at some point. Highly recommend it. You did? I'm oh, glad to hear it. What is a bulbo tree? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> it's just a plant in the game. Oh, and G, thank you so much for gifting a sub to wife Bo. That's super duper kind of you, G. I appreciate your face. When is this Friday? Really? Well, happy early birthday then, Monty. <laughs> G is magical. G is a magical creature. I've noticed, by the way, that I have... Um, I have... Lost my train of thought. Whoa. What happened? <laughs> what happened? It just fucked off. My train of thought. It just, like, went right off the rails there. What? I'm, I don't think I'm okay. Nope. Something really went wrong there. Is this you with a dog? Uh, it's the same emote artist. Lily uses the same emote artist as me. I didn't find that out. I had known Lily for like a, a long time. When she became partnered and she started getting new emotes, then I saw that her fine emote i don't have her fine emote but if anyone has lily's a uh, fine emote they are really really similar how dare she mads yes see they're so similar mads thank you so much for the hundred bits thank you and that's the one that made me be like oh okay that has to be the same artist that is literally the same artist and then I looked into it and I found out that, yeah, it's the same artist. <laughs> I didn't know until then. I had known her for a while. And I didn't realize we had the same emote artist. Also managed to, yeah, I think so. I was almost a little upset when I saw how similar they are, but it's not a big deal. <laughs> you said, but it didn't show up. What? But you have the sub badge. Thank you for subscribing, I I appreciate it. Twitch, what are you doing? Did you not share it? I mean, when you subscribe, usually it shares it automatically, doesn't it? There should be like a share button. Is there a reason to try refreshing the page? Yeah. Yeah, get yourself together, Twitch. God. How was everybody's weekend? How have you been since, you know, last night when we last talked? <laughs> I'm a bit tired today, like I said. 
I, st I stayed up pretty late. I had I was a bit I wasn't feeling super great last night, which is the first time in a couple of months that I've felt less than okay, which is amazing. Just thinking about how often I used to feel like shit. And then how little I feel like shit now is magic. It's actually magic. I don't understand. For so many years, I've been used to just constantly feeling low and then everything changes and I feel okay. It's crazy. It's crazy. I'm telling you. Weekend was productive. Awesome. Grunt. I'm glad to hear it. I hope you're feeling well. Hi, Martin, by the way. Did I, did I uh, say hi to you? I meant to say hi to you. Hello. I hope you're well. I've gotten so much better. Makes me super happy. Thank you, Grunt. It's genuinely like, I'm, it still blows my mind, you know, because part of depression and uh, mental health issues in general is it doesn't feel like it's ever going to get better. It just doesn't feel like it's going to get better. It doesn't even like, it doesn't matter how many times people tell you that it can get better. You're just like, okay, I mean, theoretically, I guess, sure, but <laughs> it's not going to happen. <laughs> so it's like, I still don't really believe it. What changed? That's really hard to say because I came out of, I think, um, I think in a way I kind of hit rock bottom in a way. Like I, I went really far to the, to the, into the darkness. Like, um, I was, I was in a really bad state for a while. So I went to the hospital, I, I was uh, in the hospital for a while and in the psychiatric hospital for a while and they also listened to me really well there like i felt very much like it. people like validated me listened to me and they were like i understand how frustrated you are that you haven't been able to get help and um there was an incident where they kind of didn't they weren't there for me like when I was in the hospital for like many hours when I was having kind of a breakdown in the hospital. And after that, I I I went out and fetched them and was like pretty upset that they had been like basically ignoring me and just leaving me in my room alone. <laughs> and after that, I had like a really good talk with them where they kind of they very much validated it and were like, you know, I understand that you're mad. Like, I would be mad too. Like, that's really, like, that's really fucking frustrating. And that's not okay. And we're, we have to go do better. And, um, we also, I also had a, um, psychologist there, a head psychologist who was basically taking it very seriously. And everybody there just listened really, really well and took it seriously and, treated me with a lot of respect and um it was just i think that was a really good treatment for me as well yeah yeah it was a good place like the local place i had to go to a different city because that's where they have an emergency psych ward whereas here they have like a a ward where you can stay but it's not an emergency thing it's more like you check yourself in and you maybe go there a couple weeks later or longer like you plan a stay there but um the emergency one is like a city over and they have really like they're really good there better than they are here at least in my experience and um but i mean that didn't solve it just like being taken seriously and getting good treatment didn't solve it because when i came home i fell apart in the first few days again But I think, I don't know what it was that just clicked. It's partly that I just got help. I think it's partly getting listened to, but that wouldn't solve everything because I've had help in the past and that didn't like make me not depressed, you know? <laughs> it's actually a good thing to talk about. Hi, Daybreak, nice to see you. I'm sorry, but now I'm just like talking about my mental health. That's today's stream. But I think it's always an important thing to talk about. So I hope you guys don't mind. It's a good thing to be open about and discuss sometimes so that's not something i'm gonna shy away from but um but yeah it feels like it, at a certain point something clicks for me 
it's something that it uh, it clicked for me um and i kind of finally found a way to be kind to myself like i guess when you've been so far down that you cannot function and you lose all will to live and I mean, I've been too partially to that place before, but I got to far deeper in that place than I had been before. Um, where I really felt like it, like it wasn't worth living and um, staying. I just wanted to stay in bed and. Um, getting to that, getting very far to that point. When you start finding your way again, um, you can't help but kind of, you can't, at least for me, something clicked and I couldn't really talk down to myself anymore about it, I guess. And anything that I managed to do and any positive thoughts that I managed to have, they were just a net positive. And I couldn't, like, I couldn't look at that and be like, you are a piece of shit. You are doing a terrible job. I couldn't because just the contrast between being able to do nothing and like having only negative thoughts to suddenly to getting a bit of help getting listened to and validated and then being able to like do a little bit then every little ounce of respect that I showed myself I could be kind to myself about that like I could finally find a way to be kind to myself and that has kind of stuck with me to the point where now I'm um now I'm able to be just kind to myself all the time. Well, hello. Well, hello there. You guys came in to uh, conversation. <laughs> Hi. Hey, Blackrock. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, friends. Hi. I really appreciate that. How's everyone doing? We just came in um, in the middle of talking about some mental health stuff. We like being, we like having a lot of like really open conversations and it's, a, it's an important thing to discuss. So that's what you came, came into. Hi everybody, I hope you're having a good day. How was your stream, Blackrock? How was Dark Souls 3? What were you doing? Hi, Sara, the cat. Veggie Miner, hello, Yami Create, what's up? Welcome, welcome. That's straight alert. Gotta have a dancing cactus. If you don't have a dancing cactus, what's the point? Enjoy the rocks. I will. Thanks. I'm doing really well, Black Rock. Thanks. That's actually what set off this conversation. We were talking about how I was doing really badly at the end of 2020 and how things have turned around for me quite a lot. And, uh, Someone asked a very important question. What changed? And uh, I just, just trying to explain and it's not easy to explain because I don't know what it was. But I like to preach that it was a big portion of me learning to like somehow managing to be kinder to myself. That's really like I I've one of the biggest differences, I don't know if it's the reason for me feeling better, but a couple of the biggest differences was I'm able to be kinder to myself and I'm able to be more grateful for what I have. And I try to do that fairly mindfully as well. But I don't think, I don't think like if I had been told that, which I, which I was told, you know, when I was very depressed, I don't think it would have helped me then. It was more like I found a way that it clicked with me and I was able to be that way. And that's not easy to really put my finger on what it was that allowed me to, to be that. Also think it's important to talk about it. I know I have a hard time talking about my own. It's very understandable. It's super vulnerable, wife boat. It's like talking about mental health problems is like one of the most vulnerable things. And I don't know why it's fairly easy for me. It's not something that I've ever struggled with, but uh, there, like there's a good reason that we struggle with those things. And it's because they're extremely personal and extremely vulnerable. So there's no shame in that. Talking about people listening, I think a lot of my issues stem from 
emotional neglect when I was a kid, which means that people listening to me and validating me um, makes a huge difference for me. <laughs> a huge difference. You had to have a bad habit of talking down to yourself, even if you don't mean it, but it definitely has an impact on your thoughts. Yeah. Yeah, that's something that um, I want to work on a bit more myself because I've gotten better at being kind to myself, but I haven't... I still say negative things about myself. I just don't... I Like, as a joke, you know? Like, I'll say, oh my god, I'm so dumb. And I think that kind of thing actually does affect you, even even though it's not meant seriously. Hi, Meep! <laughs> all of them. All of the Bulbo trees. So that's something that I want to work on a little bit, too. And Zeno and G and Pins keep me accountable all the time, and I'm just like... But how do I talk without saying mean things to myself? What? Tend to get salty at yourself for dumb things that often don't matter. Yeah. There's a certain culture of that, isn't there? It's a part of like the... I don't know. It's like a humility that at least has come with the latest generations of kind of everyone speaking down to themselves. As a, as a type of humility that we all have grown up into. That's my modus operandi for my own self. Yeah. Yeah, it's not easy to just change the way we talk to ourselves, but it's, uh, I think it makes a big difference. <laughs> so anyway, I kind of wanted to, uh, let me think how I'll do this. I kind of wanted to show... I kind of wanted to show the, uh, the trailer. Oh my god! The fuck! <laughs> Hello? Red? What are you doing? What's going on? <laughs> Red, thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate it. Hi, Harry and Cap. Sharzenta, what's up? Hi, Hero. Triple. Patch, good to see you. Mandy, hello. John Monopea, hello. Hi, everybody. Hi, Matt. How was your stream today, Red? Red? Hello, Josh. Lovely to see you. Tell me about your stream, Red. What were you playing? I lost the shout out. The shout out disappeared. Fall 76, of course. You did a lot of fisting. It's always a good day when you get a lot of fisting in. Have a good lurk, Hungry. Hello. Oh, that's super cute, Grunt. That is a cute emote. I just called my local GameStop. They said, please hold. <laughs> Ash, thank you for the 100 bits. <laughs> Doesn't sound wrong at all, no. If you, if you don't, if you don't get your daily fisting in, what's the point? Honestly, what's the point? Seriously, I'm asking. Chat, you can answer that question. <laughs> Gotta get some dinner. Have a good lurk, Blackrock. Thank you again so much for the raid. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Have a good dinner and go chillax after your stream. <laughs> Speaking of red weird, everyone make sure you go and follow Blackrock and Red. Red is a part of my stream team, the Nook, and he is, uh, I will begrudgingly admit that he is, uh, you know, Fucking great entertainer. <laughs> uh, uh, excuse me. Uh, sorry, just g gagging. Just get. Let me just. Uh, I think I just. I need to. I need to go barf. Just a second. Oh, uh, okay. I'm okay now. Anyway, he's he's okay. I guess. 
He's okay, I guess. Go go follow him. <laughs> So I was gonna, I was gonna, just as you were t saying that, just as you were saying that, and by saying that I mean just as you were raiding me, Red, I was just about to show the, uh, the, um, I want to show the trailer for the, uh, the Big Dig on stream today. If I can, like, figure out the best way to do this, I think I'm just gonna play it in a player and then capture the player. That's what I'm gonna do. I don't often show videos and shit on stream. Yeah, okay, so the Nook has had this, the Big Dig, which is a Minecraft event. Um, we've had a season of that before, and the second season is gonna start pretty soon. It's featuring, the video I'm gonna show features Red Weird. So uh, stay here. Stay. Stay. And we're going to, uh, Show the the thing. Hi Tug, you can you can go. We're gonna show Tug on stream in just a second. Tug, you can leave. <laughs> it's okay, you don't have to stay. There, look, it's Tug. Why would I leave now? This is the best part. Basically, let me explain. Where do I want to put this? Here. I want to put it here. There, graphics, de graphic design at its finest. Um, the Nook is going to be having a big dig event, a continuation of the uh, the first season. This is the second season. And it's basically a Minecraft event where you have uh, a one single hardcore Minecraft save file, which gets passed from person to person over the course of like six weeks, I believe. And it's a rolling, rolling 14 different team members that are part of it that cycle through every 14 days. Um, so you'll be able to see every person work eight weeks. Okay, eight weeks of the same save file, trying not to die. And if you die, you have to start over the save file. And there's a bunch of challenges for this season. Um, and it's going to be super duper fun. The first season was super duper fun. The second season is going to be even more fun. I guarantee it. And I'm going to just show the trailer for that event uh, now. So uh, stick around and watch and let's see if this uh, volume is okay. <laughs> And now the news that you've all been waiting for. It looks like the big dig is coming back for season two. Let's go to Nook News correspondent Redweird for more. Hey, yes, Doug, you he just raided. Here at the side of season one of the big dig. Lots of great memories from there, of course. And my sources have revealed that season two is just a couple of weeks away. 14 streamers, 10 new ones from the Nook stream team. Can't wait to see how they fit in. 20 challenges to complete throughout the season. There's going to be plenty of shenanigans. I'm really excited to see where it goes. One hardcore safe file between them it's anybody's guess back to you are you using a beer bottle as a microphone uh no <laughs> <Big dig. laughs> i don't see it <gasps> here he comes Oh! Ah, shit! <gasps> oh my good lord! No! Wait, this is... Okay, listen. I'm gonna... Shh. I showed it really quickly. Ready? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, There we have it. 
Isn't it such a great trailer? Who's hyped? I'm hyped. The awesome thing is that in conjunction with this big dig event, there's also a big build that has already started, which is uh, the team members have a server. It's separate from the big dig. It's a, it's, a, it's a Minecraft server that everyone on the team shares and has access to. And a lot, and people are building. We don't have an, an alert for it because I'm a, I mean a, 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 a command for it. That's the word. Everyone has access, Avenus. Um, huh? Anyway, um, so. <laughs> Who am I? What are you talking about? What? Me what? I don't understand. Access to what? I don't understand what you mean. What? Anyway, uh, so people have already started building some really cool uh, shit. Can someone maybe ban Tug for not making any sense in chat? Thanks. Okay, cool. Um, we already have some really, really cool builds. There's uh, going to be a theme every single week. There's currently... They currently had... They had a theme last week for tree houses, and there's been some fucking amazing builds <laughs> like ag absolutely amazing builds and the next week's theme is villages and that's uh also gonna be super duper amazing and they've they're like the, the server they're building on is just so it's gonna be so cool like they're building roads they're building all these really cool things independently from each other and then connecting them with paths and they're going to decorate it all and ma making like a railway system and then they're going to build like roads in the nether and crap and it's going to be the most epic server ever made and i'm super duper excited for it so uh there are some streamers that are going to be putting up youtube content drongo has put up a youtube video of his treehouse build which is a really good video and some of the streamers, um, some of the team members have also streamed about the big build as well. So it's it's looking really, really cool. So I highly recommend following the big build. There's a hashtag for it. I think it's called big build energy, hashtag big build energy. If you want to find um, the content for the big build on Twitter, that might be the easiest way to find the find all of the content for it right now um that might change in the future but for now that's probably the best way have i played minecraft i've played a lot of minecraft i played i played a minecraft when it was like a baby <laughs> when it was like an alpha i played minecraft when it was like pure survival and there was there were there was no food and like apples were the only food you could eat. when apples were like the healing thing i don't know you know what? I don't remember, but like everything was different. <laughs> but I have a trouble playing sandboxy games like that. I just kind of lose my focus. And um, that's why we're playing Subnautica. <laughs> because I lose my focus. But yeah, we... Um, I just have trouble like like uh, focusing with things like Minecraft. Maybe eventually I'll be inspired to build something, but I'm never really happy with the fancy stuff I build. The quote-unquote fancy stuff. I always want to build something really cool, but then I just suck at it. Hi, Tidbit! Hello! It's so nice to see you. How's it going? Pop in and say hello before getting on with the chores of the day. It's really nice to see you, Tidbit. I'm, I hope you're doing well. Stars are different. They look good to me. Build a Subnautica base in Minecraft. Yeah, that doesn't sound too ambitious at all. Have I muted Subnautica? I have. There we go. I was wondering why the game wasn't making any sound even though I updated it. I mean, I opened it. Hi, Cup Quack. Hello. Artie. Hello. Railways, aka subpar rows. Yeah, that's what I meant. If that was a mod, I would have done that already. Yeah, this is the reason wife boat should be mod everywhere, so she can ban tug. You ever heard Minecraft Alpha? In fact, there was no hunger bar and food healed you instantly. Yes! Yes, and you would like cut down trees to f get apples and heal yourself with that. <laughs> like, that was my life. 
I just remember going on like when there weren't any private servers, so you would go on public servers and then we would go really, really far away from the spawn to try to avoid griefers. That was fun. It's snow day! Let's talk how many inches of snow there was on your window. Oh, that there are many! Lovely. I hope, uh, I hope it's not too frustrating. I hope you don't have to shovel any snow. When we started in beta, I believe, but still, that was still so long ago. Yeah. I think it was alpha that I started in. It might have been, like, very early beta. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, those old timey Minecraft times. Now, nowadays, anytime I go on, on Minecraft, I just kind of end up following people around and being like, Hey, what you doing? <laughs> hey, what you doing? Like just jumping around on top of their shit, being like, hi, 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 what you doing? Hi, what you doing? <laughs> but, it's, but that's essentially my entire personality anyway, so. You spent your lunch playing Minecraft? Are you excited about the big dig and the big build, Artie? I am. I'm watching everything fold out super excitedly. Like the big build is my favorite thing ever. People are building the coolest shit and I'm super excited about it. Late to the party and didn't get it until 1.0. <laughs> Guess you're just not as cool as we are, Red. <laughs> so excited for this week's challenge. I'm so interested to see what people are going to do with it. And the tree houses were so good. Freaking hipsters. You're just jealous that you're not cool like us hipsters. Hi, Shane. Hello. How are you today? How's it going? Okay, shall we head over to the the game scene, maybe? By the way, we almost got cat cam today. It was close. It was pretty close, I gotta tell you. Not quite though. We didn't get um the camera is too bad quality and we need to get like a paid version so that it doesn't turn off after half an hour. So, but it's close. We're getting there. We're going to get it back. And we have the cat tree set up in a good spot now. So the cats really like where it is. So I could put, I'm thinking of get, I got, we got a raspberry Pi for it and we're going to get the camera module for it as well. And in order to send it to OBS, we need to have a paid version of this thing. Or Zero has to make his own, which um, which he might do. I'm not sure yet what he wants to do. And we might get another Raspberry Pi so we can have it set up in various parts of the house um, so that I can like just turn it on and not have to never have to move it around because it's really annoying. Like I can't move it around in this apartment. If the cats aren't in the spot and there can't be a cat cam and with channel points involved, I don't want it to constantly be like, oh, sorry, the cats aren't in position. Oh, sorry, the cats aren't in position. Raspberry Pi. Mm. <laughs> Stopping by for a few minutes before the bed. I appreciate you coming by. I hope you've had a good day. All right, let's hop into the game. I feel like the minute I have opened up cat cam again, it's going to be like entire streams are going to be cat cammed. That's another thing. I don't think I can like pet the cats after every cat cam. either because I would have to go like across the entire house just to find the cats and pet pet the cats so I'll need to figure something out for like or petting them occasionally but not having to interrupt the stream for like several minutes just to go pet them having a bigger apartment is so difficult Ugh, poor me Ooh. Ooh, I like my poster. I like this poster. It's a good poster. All right. What is this camera doing? Like, what is this? Is this camera really far away? Has a stalker just taken this camera and moved it 
Really far away? Why? You stealthily add a Wendy emote on the Discord? Uh, actually, I didn't add any of the Gravity Falls ones. It was my mods that just added a bunch of uh, Gravity Falls emotes. We have like 5 million emote slots, so we can just add like 500 gazillion million trillion emotes. Randomly. Ah! So they added like 10 Gravity Falls emotes when we started watching it. Or when we were talking about starting to watch them. So I guess there's no space in the scanner room for this camera. Is the other one? This one is attached. This one is attached. This one is not attached. Where is it? <laughs> oh shoot! That's not the right alerts. Whoopsie. Why did the... I'm so confused. Why did the raid alert work? I'm so confused. Why did the raid... Al Why was the raid alert not... What? Okay. The raid alert wasn't my scare alert. Right? The raid alert was the cactus. I'm so confused. The follow alert just now was my scare alert. All right, anywho. Hi, Zuo. How are you today? Uh, Red, have a wonderful... Have a wonderful uh, rest of your day. Thank you so much for the raid. You are the greatest. I don't say that lightly. Thanks for bringing everybody over. I hope you enjoy your post stream snacks and rests. Oh, you meant the witch alert. See, that makes sense. My issue right now is that I don't exactly know what to do to progress. This is my problem. I want to make this go away. Let's just ignore that. Can I like, I hope you luckily. Okay. Um. Sometimes the very act of seeking help can be the thing that allows you to feel better. Yeah, it's a bit complicated because I've been sick and I have gotten help in the past. It's just that this time it's somehow just clicked in me, you know? Somehow this time I was like really starved for help for a long time because I was getting like rejected for help. I wasn't the, the therapy people, they, they didn't have room for me. Um, for a long time, which is part of what drove me to the point where I was. So I think getting help after that, maybe, I don't know. It's complicated. Brains are complicated. It's hard to know what it was that helped. Maybe I'll figure it out one day. So the issue is that I wanted to, um, I needed to find a way to cure myself of the infection. So that I can turn off the power. So that I can get off the ship. The, the thing. The planet. Um... Do I have the... Do I have the actual blueprint? Because I got a blueprint for a ship to get off the freaking thing. The planet. But I can't use it until... I neutralize the... Uh, the shooty shooty thing. Okay, so I need Neptune launch platform. I guess I could just build, start building that. I don't know. It's only a launch platform? Hmm, I still haven't built a stasis rifle. Maybe I should do that. 
Should I only should I just build a launch platform? I could just uncraft it if I need to. Let's do that. I don't think I have that much titanium. Alright, if we're talking about it and being open, it's very important to let people care about you and other people know it's okay to talk about it. Thank you, Zuo. I try to be as open as I'm able to be about it. It's very important. I know that it can make a lot of a lot of a difference for a lot of people. And it's also just uh, it's also healthy for me to talk about it. And I think it's that's part of it as well. It's healthy for all of us to talk about it. Did you say Mabel? I did not. I did not say Mabel. I think there's a ton of metal salvage over here. Bum, ba, ba, ba. Sea glide fragment. I mean, I need titanium, so. I remember when I was so scared. What the fuck, bro? I was using that. Remember when I was so scared of the stalkers? I saw them and I just ran away. <laughs> Zio. How much room do I have? I have room for one more. Hey there, Kai. Hello. Come here and lurk a lot because I'm really happy and proud to hear about your brain stuff getting better. Aw, thank you. I really appreciate you lurking a lot. That's always, that's such a huge compliment to me when people want to lurk here. Thank you so much. Cozy. Welcome, I'm so glad you think so. Lurkers are love. Lurkers are some of my favorite people. I like chatters too. Those are also some of my favorite people. Geo. I'm gonna need more. I'm gonna need more titanium. I'm calling it now. Might be because I have almost none. I only have seven. That's not enough. Okay, what else did I need? Uh, da -da -da -da. Computer chip and lead. Table coral, gold, copper wire. Guild. Copper. La -da 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 -da. Gravity Falls related from what I've heard, Alex Hirsch is a really swell person. I've heard that too, yeah. Why did I think that I needed two gold? I think I... Yeah, I don't need two gold. Silly me. And then I needed four lead. Put that gold away. That's not gold, that's kyanite. God. I think he might have worked a bit on, uh, on Adventure Time too. And Adventure Time is such a wholesome and wonderful show. It's one of my favorites. I love it so much. All right, I think I'm gonna go and build that platform. Hi, Avo, good to see you. I'm gonna go build that platform. Do I have my habitation thing? I do. Did I build it here? We'll see, let's look around and see where we can build this fancy thing. Wall shelves, okay. I assumed I would use this thing to build it. Maybe not. 
Maybe I need something totally different. Mm -hmm. Am I blind? Let's see. Mobile vehicle bay. Does that make sense? See, that makes sense. I don't know if it makes sense. Maybe it makes sense. Where's my mobile vehicle bay? Because I... Okay, there it is. Found it. Nee, nee, nee. Crazy platform builder tool, obviously. The one that you use to build crazy platforms. Must be constructed You're a butthole. Water. You're a butthole. That's all I have to say. This is where I've been parking my thing. Question, um... I don't want to put it in this place where it's going to be in the way of my submarine. I also don't want to put it in a place where it's going to be in the way of my base building. I guess we could put it here. I think I'm going to put it here. Let's see. Let's see how this works out. No! No! You can probably change it, maybe. Cannot build here. You're Must a butthole! What did I tell you about being a butthole? Maybe stop. Stop being a butthole? Do -do. Maybe it has to be super duper deep. Maybe it has to be like ridiculously deep. Could it maybe tell me how deep it needs to be? Aha. We got it. Build yourself that deep. Exactly this deep. However deep this is. Take your sweet, sweet time, my friend. I have a platform and it's better than your platform. Na, 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 na. Oh, it is. Oh, yeah, it is. It's taking all of its sweet time. Look at my fancy ass. Oh, my God, it's huge. Holy frick. This is a bigger platform than I expected. Whoa. Look at the view from here. Oh, that's beautiful. That would make a good screenshot. I don't know what... Screenshot. Saved to PDA. Nailed it. Where do I find screenshots? Uh, It's not here. <laughs> Metal salvage! Metal salvage! Metal salvage! Metal salvage! Metal salvage! Thanks. Thanks, game. Thanks for including the metal salvage part in my screenshot. That's what I wanted. That's definitely what I wanted, yeah. Neptune Gantry. I'm wondering if maybe I should just construct this and maybe I'll f maybe it'll like tell me shit. Last ceiling, get copper wire lubricant. Cool. Let's go get that metal salvage. Hashtag nailed it. We're going to pick up all the metal salvage. We're going to get a ton of titanium. I should probably put away all of the random crap I have in my inventory that I don't need. I can pick up more metal salvage. More metal salvage. My friends call me Neptune Gantry. I am confused, Bristol. I am confused. Da 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 da. I have been craving 
like a show like Queen's Gambit lately. I just want there to be more mini series that are as awesome as Queen's Gambit. Is that too much to ask? Because I have like, um, I watched through the both the, the Haunting of Bly Manor and the Haunting at uh, Hill House. And those are kind of like, they, they scratched a similar itch of like mini series that I really enjoyed and could just casually wash. But now I don't know what I'm going to watch. And it's really upsetting. Can I say something? Uh, don't don't backseat about the game, but of course you're welcome to speak. I loved Bly Manor, Bristol. I loved it. I've rewatched The Witcher once. Yeah, I rewatched The Mandalorian before the second season came out, and I rewatched The Witcher around the same time. Do I even have room for these? I don't even have fucking room for them. Let's leave. Hill House was like the absolute scariest I could watch. Bly Manor is less scary than Hill House. Bly Manor is more character focused than Hill House. It's more like an, an emotional, great, a great emotional story about great characters that I really loved. Hill House was much more like terrifying to me. It's fantastic. I just, I loved, I love Bly Manor more than Hill House. Man, it was so good, right? Right? I am beyond excited for the next season of The Witcher. Like, I know that many people don't consider it like the best show ever, but I genuinely is like... I'm more excited about The Witcher than almost anything else. But I'm also just a big fantasy fan, so... Oh, by the way, my, um, forgot to mention this. Where the fuck is my lithium? Oh, right, I put it in here. My corona test came back negative, so we're all good. I went to therapy today. No issues. I wasn't, I wasn't surprised at all. Like, I, I didn't think I would have it, but... I had to get a test because I had a sore throat for several days, so. Let's drink water. How about that? Vital signs stabilizing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's stand up. Yeah, I've started to really enjoy horror too. Grunt is weird because I used to